oh sorry you're dusty wow dusty just see you good but are you ready hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Ree. hi nice to meet you on the channel we talk about a lot of things but we have our special guest here today this is my lovely houseplant sheldon he's just doing what he needs to do and we're we're respecting that we're respecting his growth and you know his leaf essentially <laughs> also i have a drink today so so this drink right here is a prosecco mixed with a grapefruit rattler and a little bit of ice just you know gets it down in the veins so cheers if you have something to swish on cheers mm -hmm. <laughs> so today we have a really I guess I've never talked about this on my channel like in, in terms of a dedicated video. So we have a little bit of a new video today. I did a poll on my Instagram where you should follow me like for free HC. Yes. So I did a poll on my Instagram asking if you guys wanted me to do more topics or just to do a video talking more about my YouTube channel. How I did that, you know, advice from me, a small YouTuber. I'm not big yet. And just how you can get a channel, how you can start your own channel or any of the highs and lows that I experienced starting this channel that you're watching. So first off, if you subscribed, I appreciate you. I value you. Thank you so much for subscribing and joining the farm. We are on our way to that glorious 1K and I'll talk more about why 1K is so big in a minute. So first off, thank you so much if you subscribed and I'm just going to have a really frank video with you guys like an honest video talking about how my first year on youtube went highs lows valleys hills all of that while sipping wine so are you ready <laughs> so first of all i started my channel april 11th 2020 in the pandemic when covid slapped us and sent us inside that's when I said to myself, I was like, what is the one thing I always wanted to do, but I never had enough time or I never thought I would have time for it. And for me, that always was a YouTube channel because I watch a lot of YouTube and I always love vlogs and I follow people like Raven Elise, Natural Macy, Vicky Logan, um, Casey Aaliyah. Like they are like really like well-known YouTube names in the black community. And I always love their content. I was like, this is crazy how they're making money doing something that they like genuinely love type of thing and I just found their lifestyle to be so fun and that you know they're just their job is to create content for people like yourself so I was really inspired by watching YouTube because I was like this is crazy how this is someone's life and that how subscribing and just creating that community makes it possible so I always was like wow I think I would love this but I knew it was a lot of time I wasn't stupid I knew it was a lot of time and I knew that if I wanted to do it I wanted to do it correctly so to speak so fast forward into the pandemic I grew the balls and I started the YouTube channel and it was rough like for example my brother had to help me um, film and edit the first video I ever did, which was my wash day routine. My brother had to help me to edit that one. But then fast forward to now, I'm editing my own videos and stuff like that. So it started off with like me having to learn a lot of things. I had to learn iMovie, which I use because it's free. <laughs> and then my brother used um, Premiere Pro. So I started to learn some things on Premiere, Adobe Premiere as well. So that was really fun. But to be honest, editing is, in my opinion, the hardest hurdle to climb if you're ever interested in starting a YouTube channel. I definitely think that you should. I think that if you are someone who always wanted to start a YouTube channel, just do it. Because you don't know where it'll take off. Like, YouTube has created jobs and fed families and bought cars and do all these crazy things like YouTube can really change somebody's life if it's like done correctly or if it's I guess the intentions are correctly or if it just takes off YouTube can make a huge difference and even if you don't want it to be like a full-time job it's just really good money to put in your pocket like there are a lot of people who do their job that they love like doctors and stuff like that and they just do YouTube on the side to make some extra coins cool is mad at the coins no one y'all know i am a cpa i love extra coins so youtube is a really great way for you to monetize your brand and your platform and still create an authentic experience for your audience so i highly recommend shutting youtube channel it is not too late 
don't believe the hype it is not too late and if anything i feel like starting a youtube channel now like how i started it last year 2020 starting a youtube na channel now in 2021 you have even more resources that you can tap into like for me a huge resource that i tapped into was like watching katherine manning she talks all about youtube i watch all of her videos and it's just like watching her and then she also does analytical reports every month so you can kind of see her progression and her climb and how much money she makes every month and so this went from making hundreds to thousands like one of our analytical reports she made almost like ten thousand dollars in youtube adsense and on top of that affiliate marketing she made whew, she made uh, more money so don't sleep on youtube just because it's like not something you're familiar with it's very in my opinion you can learn how to do well on youtube and i fully believe in you so if you're thinking about starting a channel and you're looking for that push i'm here to push you off the ledge you've just received your first nudge do it do it and then message me so i know that you do it so i can subscribe <laughs> please so the reason why 1k is such a big thing on youtube is because at 1000 a lot of things happen for example you can use youtube stories you can use your community channel but you also can qualify for monetization if you have 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours within the year so that's when they start putting ads on your videos and you start collecting that little pocket change so yeah that's why people are always like you know subscribe i'm on my way to 1k it's because at 1k you start to make some moolah and it's a really good way it doesn't even take out money from the community standpoint but it's a really good way for you to start to kind of get a return on your investment i mean in my opinion i did invest in youtube but i did it in a gradual space where it didn't affect me like for example i have my tripod that i showed you guys in another vlog i have my ring light so i have like little things and then i use things for free as much as possible so for editing i use iMovie which is free and then for my temp my thumbnails i use canva which is also free so my youtube budget is fairly low because i want to keep it low until i get to that point where i start making a bunch of funny money and then I could act bad and fling money at Final Cut and fling money at the editor and the graphic designer and the cameras and stuff like that. Like like I said in my iPhone video, I am proof that you can start a YouTube channel using your phone. And I really love that about my channel is that like I want you guys to see my journey and my progression in all things. Not just my skincare, not just my hair care, not just in me catching flights and acting bad. I want you guys to see it all. And Another thing I didn't know when I joined the tube was that essentially you don't have to wait on monetization to make money. Like I've been making money and working with brands before I even got monetized, which is crazy. So I'm just like, guys, do not sleep on affiliate marketing. So when you see people saying like they have links down below in the description box, you don't, you don't obviously have to pay anything extra. But when you use somebody's link to purchase something, you get a small commission. The person does get a small commission and that helps out a lot to be honest so right now my main source of youtube revenue is my affiliate marketing so i really really want to thank you guys for always clicking the links and just supporting me and being as bad as you can be down there you are just a stunner i'm here to tell you you're a stunner there is a plan why does it sound like this puts a line on me oh this plane is oh wow this plane is low Jesus be a fan. So I have no regrets setting my YouTube channel. I think I mentioned it on my Instagram. I love being on YouTube. Like you guys are just amazing. I love connecting with you guys. I love creating content and getting you guys' feedback and just doing videos and showing you guys what's happening with my life and you guys update me and tell me what's happening in yours. I feel like we have a great little conversation. So I really do love YouTube. It's been kind of like my favorite platform right now. So this has been a journey. And then my biggest tip and my final tip for anybody who wants to start a YouTube channel is to be consistent. And the only way I have been able to be consistent and upload a video every Saturday since I started is because I have picked that Saturday and I have worked it into my schedule. So I have like dedicated 
my Saturdays, my Saturday mornings to getting a YouTube channel up for you guys. And that has been kind of like motivating me throughout like this journey. You no, know? and I have people in my corner who remind me sometimes and like, hey, can't wait to see what's coming out on Saturday. Hey, can't wait to see this video. Can't wait to see that video. And that really propelled me. So it's really good to have a community around you that uplifts you and encourages you so you can slap out that content and get it done. So definitely my advice is to, if you wanna be super consistent and grow a little faster, pick a certain day and post on that day. And then that way your community always has something to look forward to. So it's really exciting because I know like certain YouTubers post on certain days. So sometimes I'll be like, oh, so and so might post a video today. And then I check my YouTube. So that's pretty fun as well. So my biggest tip is for, to be consistent. But if you can pick like a day or two of the week where you wanna post, you are a champion and a winner. So I'd say if you wanted to start a YouTube channel, definitely do it. Do your research and do it for free. There are a lot of free resources on YouTube that shows you how to start a YouTube channel and it makes it very, very simple to kind of follow. Um, I watched a lot of those initially before starting. But yeah, guys, that's all really that goes into my YouTube channel. Those are all the lessons I've learned, the hills that I've climbed. YouTube has been great to me. Um, hopefully one day we can be a monetized channel and carry on bad. But until then, we are still doing what we need to do. And that's all that matters. That's all that is required of us. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat with me with our little sip sips. Yum. <laughs> be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any more YouTube specific questions down below, let me know. I'll do a separate video on them. I just wanted to give you guys like my first starter video on like how it went with my channel. And now you know. All right, so that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Hit that subscribe because we talked about that. And I believe in you and I've given you encouraging uplifting words. So hit the subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.